This is question six from a series of videos taking a look at the Edexcel practice papers. Here we're told that the total cost of three apples and four pears is £1.84. We're told that the total cost of five apples and two pears is £1.76. And we're asked to work out the cost of one apple and the cost of one pear. So the first thing that we need to recognise here is that we're trying to find the value of two unknowns. We're trying to find the value of an apple and the value of a pear. Now, immediately, whenever we see this situation where we're trying to find out two unknown values, we should immediately think of simultaneous equations. So simultaneous equations are when we're trying to find out two values. And the only way that we can do that is if we've got two bits of information about those two values. And so that's exactly what we've got here. We've got that three apples uh, and four pairs is £1.84. And then we've got another bit of information about the two unknown values, that five apples and two pairs is £1.76. So let's write out equations um, and then solve them. So three apples and four pairs is £1.84. So what we're going to say is we'll call our apples x and our pairs y. Um, and so what we can say is that we've got 3x plus 4y is equal to £1.84. And we can see that, again, calling apples x, pairs y, that 5x plus 2y, so 5 apples and 2 pairs, is equal to £1.76. So we've got our simultaneous equations. All that's left to do is to solve them. So the way that I'm going to do this, if I look at these, I think the easiest way to solve this is by elimination. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this equation on the bottom here. And if I multiply that by 2, that is going to give me uh, 10x plus 4y. Uh, and will be equal to uh, £3.52. Um, so now we've got, let's just rewrite this one at the top, 3x plus 4y is equal to £1.84. So now what we've got is we've got two equations, two simultaneous equations, where we've got uh, matching unknown. So we've got 4y and 4y. Now, by doing that, what it allows us to do is now I can just take these away from each other. So if I take away 3, uh, so if I do 3x minus 10x, that's going to give me negative 7x. If I do 4y minus positive 4y or 4y minus 4y, that eliminates the y's. And then all that I'm left with is £1.84 minus £3.52, which is going to give me... Um, negative £1.68. So negative 7x is equal to negative £1.68, which means that x is going to be um, negative £1.68 divided by 7, uh, which is going to give me uh, 24, so 0 0.24. So my first answer is that x is equal to 0 0.24, or 24p. Now, if I then just think about what I know, I now know that the cost of an apple is 24p. So that means that three apples would be three lots of 24p, or I can say it's 72 pence. So if three apples is 72p, and I know that three apples and four pairs is £1.84, again, I can set up another equation. 72 plus 4 pairs, or 4y, is equal to £1.84. Solving this, or I should really, if I've got that as a decimal, I should have this as a decimal as well. So 0 0.72 plus 4y is equal to 1.84. Then 4y will be equal to um, £1.84 minus 72p, which is going to give me one pound and 12 and then that means that y will be equal to uh, 1 pound 12 divided by 4 uh, which is going to give me um, 0 
so 28p. So final answer would be um, the cost of a pear is 28p and the cost of an apple is 24p.